So you're single on Valentine's Day. Here's how I can help. Hi, I'm Gabby Bernstein. I'm a motivational speaker and a self-help book author. And I'm here to be your digital coach. I'm here to give you guidance on relationships, career, or really anything that you want to ask me. So you're single, all your friends are getting engaged, you're contemplating how am I going to handle this Valentine's Day. There's a few simple steps that I can offer you to really energize you, change your thinking, and give you a new perspective of how to go into this holiday with a better attitude and actually have a really good time. The first step is awesome. This first step is to celebrate the relationships in your life. Maybe your parents have an awesome, beautiful, loving relationship. Celebrate it. Maybe you have this beautiful image on your Instagram of this couple that you love to follow. Celebrate them. Rather than looking at all these couples in your life and comparing yourself and seeing yourself as less than and seeing yourself as not good enough and seeing it like a loss, celebrate it, honor it, bring light to it, bring energy to it. And so the work here is really just to shift your energy from looking outside and comparing and separating and seeing this as something outside of you and see it as something that is absolutely attainable. And in the celebration of other people's love, you create an opportunity to have more love in your own life. I know that you're thinking, okay, that's really easy to say, Gabby, you're married, you're, you know, you have a husband, blah, blah, blah. And I know that because I, I've been that girl that's been the single girl at the wedding. I've been that girl who's been single on Valentine's Day. And I've been in the position where I've had to witness my friends get engaged around me. I got married at 34 years old. So my early 30s, I was seeing everybody get engaged, everybody get married. And, and I felt that feeling of, of separateness and I felt that feeling of, of, not, of not having this thing that I wanted and comparing myself. So I get it. I get what it's like and I get what it's like to feel like you are alone on Valentine's Day. But that's your choice. You have a choice in every given situation to choose to see yourself in that space of being alone or you can choose again. You can choose to, like I said, celebrate the successes of the relationships around you. You can choose to seek love rather than detach from love. You can choose to open up your heart and your mind to be receptive to call that romance into your life. And here are some more tips. Another one's beautiful, and this is something I did when I was single, and it really, really helped me manifest and create the romance that I have today. I created a whole vision board on my wall in my bedroom that had all these images of relationships that really resonated with me. Images of couples holding hands, images of engagement rings, images of hearts, images of beautiful, inspiring, roomy quotes that just made me really warm and fuzzy on the inside. And I just got into it and I just totally plastered this board with all these beautiful images. And the images just lit me up and they made me feel good and they elevated me. And every day I'd wake up and I'd look at this board and rather than waking up and going through my Facebook feed and saying, this one's engaged now and this one's getting married and I'm alone, I would look at the board and I would be like, I can have that. Now the final step is to really get into this new thought form around your romantic status. There's nothing wrong with being single. Celebrate your single experience. So here's how you do it. You celebrate the times that you have with your girlfriends. Have more fun. Create more romantic sparks in your friendships. Have more girl time. Have more creative time. Maybe you take that time alone and you go and you take a ceramics class. Maybe you take that time on your own and you go walk through a museum. Take yourself on a date. Do something really radical for yourself, particularly around Valentine's Day when you're really in that funk around being single. Take yourself out. Do something special for yourself. Celebrate yourself in some way. And, and this will really help you change the way you think about your single status. And when you start to accept that it's awesome, that it's great, that you are having this great, beautiful time in your life, that you can just take care of you, that you can really build a relationship with yourself and honor yourself from the inside out. That is a sacred time that you don't wanna miss. And once you get hooked up into that relationship, you may not have that time again. So honor it now, and nurture it now, and, and, really, and really enjoy it. And that joy that you bring to being single will actually really elevate your energy so you become that beautiful, vibrant, confident woman that will be that magnet for that man. Here are your three steps. The first step is celebrate the relationships in your life. Honor them, be excited about them, 
and, and recognize that what they have is something you can have too. And make that vision board. Put every inspirational image you can find on that vision board. And most importantly, make sure it makes you feel good. Make sure that when you look at it, it inspires you and gets you excited. And then that final third step, change the way you think about it. Shift your perceptions. Remember that tomorrow it won't be Valentine's Day. We forget that Valentine's is just one day out of 365 days. And we put so much emphasis and we make it so special. Have fun, just enjoy it, make it awesome and, and use these tools. And I really wanna hear from you. I'm available, I'm accessible, I'm all over social media. So find me at Gabby Bernstein on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and just connect with me and you can use the hashtag Dear Gabby and ask me any questions. I'm here to help you and I'll be back with so many more videos. So let's stay connected and let's have a beautiful dialogue. Come to me with whatever you got.